undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive. What up, what up? It's pause one. And this guy here is... Wait, 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 wait. Who's that, who's that ugly chick in the back? Over there. Over there. Yeah, yeah, All the way to the... Yeah, yeah. You don't... You, yeah, yeah. I think I went to school with her. Uh... Hey man, uh, I'm not mad at that. In my lesser moments. In my I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I got stories for that. I won't reveal them right now. All right, I fucked a girl so big. All right, I'm not gonna get into it. All right. That's how big she is. I don't even want to get into it. I didn't want to get into it. You already know it's copyright. Underground hip hop blog. Pause one. We're at South by Southwest 2013, making this shit happen. I wanted to talk to you about. Being able to rock the stage out here, I know you rock stages all over the globe and shit. What does it feel like to rock tonight, though? It's a lot of energy. Uh, it's a lot of people who I have not been able to do a show for, you know what I'm saying, in the past, like, whatever. And it's real dope. Um, I'm saying it's, it's, it's kind of a legendary festival, you know. It, it's up there with, like, Rock the Bells and shit and pay dues. So it feels good, man. Shout out to Austin, Texas, man. Uh, man by Dog Records in the place, yeah. Speaking of history, let's talk about some of the history as far as, like, the projects you got out. I know a lot of the fans that are watching this shit already know what time it is, but for those of you that are coming across it now, let them know about some of the projects you put out in the past. Uh, sh all right. I started out with uh, The High Exalted. That was my debut album. Let's count them. Count them off. Um, started out with my... Okay, yeah. You got to forgive me. High Exalted, Life and Times, God Save the King, uh, Megahertz Legacy. You can count Megahertz table scraps in that if you want, you know, like the real hardcore fans will. I just dropped uh, a new kind of mixtape album called Carbon Copies Phony Art Pub Scam. And if, yeah, it's basically for like fans of the Beatles, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of the Beatles. I noticed that on the cassette. Yeah. You got the cassette. Let me show the cassette. Yeah. Let them know about oh, the you, newer you got shit. the cassette? I got the cassette. While I do this, I'm going to grab the cassette for you guys. Let them know about the newer stuff. The newer stuff is still in my mind. It's not done yet, but, uh, you know. I dropped three albums last year. I dropped uh, the yeah, Megahertz Legacy, My Solo Shit, God Save the King, and God Save the King, uh, proper English version. But I got some shit in the works right now, man. So, you know, I work, man. I work nonstop, man. I got OCD, so it's never going to stop. I just keep going and going and going until my corpse is discovered by the fucking UPS lady one day. With the written verse in his pocket. Check it out. I feel blessed to have this shit right here. Check this shit out. It's a cassette tape, yo. Don't get no realer than that. South by Southwest 2013 copyright, brother. It's an honor to have you here, yo. I appreciate it, man. I really do. I'm just tripping. My fault. I was like, I never, I haven't seen this shit yet myself. You want to talk about some of the joints you're gonna perform tonight? I'm doing some old. I'm doing old school shit. I'm doing some high exalted shit. I'm doing some shit from uh, from God Save the King. I'm doing some shit from uh, random, bro. Basically, right now when I made this show set, I tried to get some shit that's just like nonstop energy. Like, I listen to myself objectively, and I'm like, all right, um, let me just rock shit nonstop that's just energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing world premiere. That's why I didn't do Tower of Babel, because it's a little slow. I'm doing energy, yeah, because the energy is contagious. You know, I, I got to do the shit that, that gets me pumped up, and then it'll get the crowd pumped up. Hopefully. So what's the feeling like when you're rocking on stage, and you see some people in the crowd going rhyme for rhyme with some of your shit? What's that feeling like? Describe that. I mean, dude, that's the whole reason kind of why I started this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is, uh, you know, it's funny. Like, fans always come up to you and they always say, like, uh, I don't mean to be, uh, you know, I don't mean to be annoying. I don't mean to be a stand. No, I don't, I don't think anybody ever thinks that. I don't think, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, without, without fans, without supporters, there would be no us. So, I mean, I never trip off that. In fact, I'm a fan, like, I bumped into Kuali today and I had to, I had to kind of fall back. I didn't want to be... I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you got to salute. And that's the thing about, that's, there you go, right there. Speaking of that, speaking of that, that's what's up. When you see somebody that's been in the game for a while, like a Talib, who's innovated and who's done his thing and inspired, that's the kind of thing you got to just stop and be like, you know what? I got to tip my hat to dude because he, he set the bar. Who, who are some other MCs that you looked up to on, when you were on the come up? Feral Monch. I wanted to be Feral Monch so fucking bad, dude. If I could, if I could have had one wish, I think me and Camus, both our wish would have been to be Feral Monch. Well, one of us would have became Prince Poe by default and shit. But nah, Feral Monch, uh, KRS-One, Common Sense. Uh, my, hey, my first, 
the shit that got me into hip hop was uh, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. You know, I'm the DJ, he's the rapper. Scarface, when he was DJ Action with the Ghetto Boys. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a lot more else, but yeah, man. Um, shit, who else? Let me think of a quick one. Hyro. I was a, I would have, yeah. I think that, I, I, I was one of those white boys with dreads. Don't tell anybody. But I think Hyro was the reason why I had the dreads and shit, like, lightweight. Blame Hyro, y'all. Blame Hyro. Now, let's talk about some of the links, though, where all these people can find your new shit, your old shit, the whole entire catalog, videos, and so on. I got the, uh, basically, just go to iTunes. I get paid the best if you go to iTunes. Uh, go to my website. Go to undergroundhiphop.com. Copyrightsworld.com is basically where I have the majority of my shit. So you can check it out there. And, uh, man, I appreciate any support, man. I don't even care if you buy my shit. I appreciate you coming up to me and just, you know, chopping it up with me as, as a listener. Because that's what I write it for. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Copyright, pause one. And this is Underground Hip Hop Blog, South by Southwest 2013. Peace. Ayo, 1212, this is Copyright MC 78 Degrees from the Megahertz crew. Chilling out right now on South by Southwest with UndergroundHipHopBlog.com. Tune into it, stupid. UndergroundHipHopBlog.com exclusive.